Let's go again. Now do the heaven, now do the hell. Now do the heaven, now do the heaven. Now do the heaven, now do the heaven. Do it again. Now do the heaven, now do the hell.
be convicted and converted. Have your way in our midst, O oh God. We decrease that you may increase. We desire more of you and less of us. We thank you and we bless you. Give honor to you forever. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. 
Let's appreciate Jesus powerfully. Piggy about a month in a jungle with Jangilia. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the honor. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless you. You'll be blessed because you came. Your life will never be the same again. The Lord is doing a new thing this morning. Amen. If you believe it shall be so, give him another clap and a shout of victory. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. I want to conclude what I began on Sunday. I'm talking about knowing and doing the will of God. And uh, I will be winding up. I know our time is spent, but within a very short time, I'll be winding up this topic. And I was listening to myself yesterday. You see, it's good also to listen to yourself, and I was so blessed. How many take time to listen to what we preach? Because it's, it is always online. How many take time to listen again? You better, because it is in the YouTube, it is in your Facebook. Now, you will find what you got was a hate. There is a lot more. Amen. Let's open by reading John chapter 6, verse 38. Uh, the scripture that we read as we were beginning last week. John chapter 6. We begin from verse 38. And I believe we'll be blessed in Jesus' name. These were words of Jesus. He said, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Amen. We can also read a scripture in uh, Matthew uh, 7, verse 21 to 24. Uh, Matthew 7, the Bible says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 22. Men will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have we, in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to hear from you. And I pray that you will speak to us. Use me as you are a vessel in your hands. Give me utterance and even a revelation of knowledge. Spirit of the living God, we depend on you. And I pray that, Lord, you will glorify Jesus in this service. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, knowing and doing the will of God. This is what we are entitled to do after salvation. When we are born again, we stop doing our will. We begin to do the will of God. Now that's why the Bible is very clear here in Matthew 7 verse 21. Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone. 
There is more than just saying, Lord. There is more than just attending church. There is more than being called a Christian. There is more. The greatest desire is the doing of the will of God in your life. And this is why Jesus came. He came with an agenda to do the will of his father. He obeyed the will of God even unto death. Now we must do the will of God in a season and out of season. There should be no alternative be to the will of God. And when I was summing up on this, I said, God, there are three wills, three categories of will. Self-will. Now when you pursue self-will, that leads you to self-destruction. Just like the prodigal son, he decided to do his will, independent of his father. And of course we know what happened. He went into a far country, squandered all his inheritance with the prodigal living. And when he was there, he realized in his father's house, there are servants. Servants who are eating and uh, they have no problem. And he was suffering. Why was he suffering? Why was he having no food? Because the Bible says when he came, he was clothed. He was like naked. Because he went to do his will. There is also Satan's will, which is very clear. In John 10, 10, the Bible says, A thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The devil has no other agenda on earth. Now, anytime you join the camp of the devil, you are a candidate for destruction. And he will not be happy for you to prosper, even live in peace. Because the devil has no other agenda. And his will is will to destroy humanity. And then we came to the third will, the will of God. And we found out the will of God has two branches or has two parts the perfect will of God and the permissive will of God. Many a time we pursue the per permissive will of God. And I'll give you an example as we read last week because I'm just revising for those maybe are here for the first time. When the, the Israelites saw the other nations with a the king, they told Samuel the prophet, we need also to have a king like the other nations here. We, we need to be also ruled by a king, not by God himself directly. Because they were ruled by God directly through the prophets. They said, we need our own king. And the, the prophet told them, no, God is your king. They refused. Now God told them, give them a king. That was not the perfect will of God. But because of the pressure, they were given a king by the permissive will of God. And of course, we know what happened. Did even his soul finish his term? No. When you push for the permissive will of God, you pay the bills. God doesn't graze it. Now you struggle. What was the perfect will of God? They retain God as their king. Now that's why as you live, allow the perfect will of God alone. You see, like in Matthew, the Bible says they, were, they wanted a divorce. And they said, but Moses gave them letters so that they can leave their wives. Divorce. But what did Jesus tell them? Because of the hardiness of their hearts. That was permissive will of God because of the pressure they mounted on God. But it was not from the beginning. It was not so. Say amen. amen. 
God hates divorce. I don't believe in divorce. Why should you divorce? Why? If you are married, marry. You know, I was listening to one of great preachers. He was talking about marriage. I won't mention his name. He said, if you get the wrong person, you will have hell on earth. But he said, no deliverance. You, you will have to bear it. That you are cross, carry it. Tell your neighbor, carry it. And that's why Paul said he sought for deliverance and the God told him, my grace is sufficient. People want to go to permissive will because they don't want to suffer for the perfect will. The perfect will is not easy. But it is the one that will cause you to have a breakthrough with God. Because that narrow is the path that leads to life. But broad is the path which leads to destruction. See, amen. You see these days people say, Oh, mungu ataelewa. Mungu ataelewa. Eh, no mefanya kinyume na maandiko. Ataelewa zangabi. Na tunaweka neema mahali ya hiko. Mati, tuko hoki, tuko neema. Neema ufanyo sherati. Neema ufanye uzinzi. We muongo kama shetani mwenyewe. Neema na tuambia tuseme la kwa kila uofu. Kama ona amini sema amen. amen. Yani kusema la. There is no place the perfect will of God will allow you to sin. That's why the Bible says he that is born of God does not continue in sin. Of course, other translations does not sin. Because the nature of sin has been taken out of that person. And he has the nature of God. Now tell me the nature of God. Can it allow you to sin? But you see there is the lowering of standards. Why people want to settle at the permissive will. But not the perfect will of God. Say amen. amen. Now, because of time, I want to go and I show you some of the benefits of doing the will of God. Amen. You are on earth to do the will of God. All the time, 24-7, if you are born again, pursue the will of God. In a season, out of season. The Bible articulates very clearly the will of God. Now we must live according to this, this manual. This is our manual. Tell whatever this is our manual. Do you know manual helps you to use whatever you are using correctly? We must live according to the ma manual. The word of God gives us a manual for life. Pattern you are alive according to this word. And the Bible says that in the last few days people will not depart from the truth. They will not endure sound doctrine. Now that's why Timothy was taught to preach the word in his season and out of season. For a time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But they will heap to themselves teachers. Who will you teach them what they want to hear? Because they have itching. I don't preach what you want to hear. If I do that, then I'm not, I'm not a servant of God. I'll preach what God tells me to preach. Whether you like it or not. Because I'm not your servant. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not your employee. <laughs> I'm an employee of God. Now that's why we must speak the word. The way it is. Now that's how you find Peter when they began to preach. The Jews were so much against them because they preached the word. They got so tough. They wanted to kill them because they were telling them repent. Jesus told them you are like your father. 
And then he asked, who is our father? Your father, the devil. They were very annoyed. They told him we are not of fornication. They wanted to, to throw stones to Jesus. Tell on your neighbor, this is the gospel we must preach. They, they were told the truth. He told, if your father is Abraham, you can't seek to kill me. Now you are seeking to kill me because your father is different. <laughs> are you listening to me? This is the gospel. It is not easy. But that's the truth. John the Baptist told the, the king. Was it the king? Yes. It is not right for you to take your brother's wife. Now who is well a king like this? Unless you are really full of the Holy Ghost. And the king was so annoyed. Hmm? At the end of the day, the lady, she got an opportunity when either the daughter Alijesa Vizuri Sidio Aga Gumbuka Ile Injili Lubelio Neoda Vila Limukame and Bele and Falume Agazema in a fast Sasa Mutsiana Lipo Tuma Akambo Natakanini Nikupatie Mama Kamambia Enda Mwambia Mufalume Nataka Kichwa Chayuana Mubatizaj Injili Ikafanya Tolewe Nini Kichwa <laughs> Injili ile ya kweli itafanywa tolewe kichwa. Lakini ukiokopa watu utahubiri injili ya eh kuwapendeza. Kuwa Lakini haina mbingu, hiyo haina. Now do you see this verse? I fear it. Matthew 7:22 it says many. Does it say few? How will many? The Bible says many and some of them are cast out of devils. And some of them have even prophesied. But then they will go to hell. Jesus will tell go you workers of vini. They allowed to sin in their lives. You know, gifts of God are without your repentance. Now that's why what will take you to heaven is not the charisma. It is the character. You can call fire from heaven. But if you have no character, there is no heaven. Are you together? Character comes when you live according to the manual, the Bible, perfect will of God, sin is sin. Ukweli ni ukweli, uongo ni wa shetani. Sikuna watu wanaongea ukweli, uongo. Na naongea na luka, na tena ulime ule ule tu, naongea uongo. Huyu mtu, hajapitilika badu. Sema amen. That's all what am I saying? We must pursue the will of where people pass in church. They don't save. Now you look at him, you wonder, is he saved really? What does the Bible say about a tither? If you don't tithe, who, who are you? You're not even a thief. You, you, you are a robber. Now mtu anakaka kiti kwa kiti. Nana, you are any robber. Nana, ungoje yesu. Sasa, hii njili, unashangai, inaendia wapi? Inapitia wapi? Wakabu wanaile wakili anasema. What am I saying, brethren? The will of God has no co compromise. Now, that's what the Bible says. Not everyone that calls me Lord, you can call him Lord a thousand times. But when you fail to do the will of God, you are not a candidate for heaven. Tingiza mutu mambia hii ni ukweli. Mi nataka, nataka muende mbingoni. Sitake kuhubiria watu wapaki kwa viti. Nataka muende mbingoni. Bile nasema wawili watakuwa kitanda ni moja moja. Ende mwingine. Inamanisha wengine watakuwa ganizani wakwaya mwenye. Wengine waende wengine. Uliza jirani we ni katiti hiti wa upande gani? Wagwenda ama kubaki. <laughs> what will vindicate you is the doing of the will of major in doing the will of God. You see, when we got saved, we were thrown out of from churches. Why? We preached the truth. We found these people and table dealers. Now we said we don't want a table dealing gospel. You cannot preach holiness and you have a 
you have mpango wa kando tulikuta wazee wana eh, katinda ngoni you know huku kambani kana itango hivyo kana kaa moyoni kata sukuma moyo ukufe na ako wapi <laughs> na ndiye anatangaza matangazo hai tukasema hii njili haikupeleki mbinguni hii inatuua tukaambia wazee muokoke na muache tutinda ngoni wakasema nyinyi na, nani umewafunza mbona mnatutukana sema amen amen no heaven when you are not doing the will of god amen. it's not enough to come to church how many are listening what i'm saying it's not enough to sing in the choir it's not enough to make the keyboards sing like a person you must do the will of god amen kama ni muzichana lazima useme mapenzi ya mu katika mwili wa mimi ziguzi ni vijana full stop na iwe hivyo si ndio mapenzi ya bwana haina argument na ndio na vijana mkiniweka huwezi kumnichenga nini niliokoka nikiwa kijana tena na robi yenyewe ni wapi wasichana wanajua kufa saidi na robi yenyewe siti lakini nikapokea Yesu na wako nitisha na sikuzumbua mzijana wa mtu mpaka nilipooa sasa ukiniambia wewe ulishindwa ni mwili nakwambia wewe wewe wacha hiyo mchezo okoka hati nilijikuta ni ulikuwa wapi kwani eh? ulikuwa wapi unaiba na kuna mambo mengine tunaleta kanisani si ya kanisani mambo mengine ni amparasa ya shifu ukiokoka fanya mapenzi ya Mungu mwili wako ni hekalu ya roho na mahali ilo yuko mtakatifu kutaingia kitu kingine kitoka wapi? Mzee meme. Are we together? Wewe ni mzee una mke na una mwingine mdogo kitengela. Na unakuja Jumapili. Unasema bwana asiviwe. Ni bwana gani? Hebu niambie ni bwana gani? Bwana ataziviwa na wewe una mpango wa kando. Ataziviwa kweli. Si Yesu huyu ni bwana mwingine. Si mimi ni bwana maana nimeoa. Si ndio? Na wewe si ni bwana maana una mke. Sasa tukisema bwana azivue ni gani? Si ule anaitwa Yesu. Sema amen. Na wana wengine wameanza kulegeza macho. Lakini wembe ni hiyo. Hiyo ndiye tanyoa shetani bila maji. Wakapo anasema mimi nataka kwenda mbinguni. You must do the will of the will of the will of god and men of old died because of the will of god they died john the baptist kichwa ikae eh kwa kuzimama tetee mapenzi ya mungu sema amen now can we get some of the benefits benefit number one. doing the will of god determines your eternal destiny the determiner of your eternal destiny is doing the will of god there is no shortcut now that's why the bible is clear not everyone that calls me lord lord shall enter the kingdom of god but he that doeth amadas the will of it is the doing it is not the conversing it is not the knowing no the application of the will of god in your life we must apply the will of god we must not read about it we must not know about it. so you are doing the will of god determines our eternal destiny say amen if you believe what i say First letter of John chapter 2 verse 17 very briefly Are you there?
फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ जून द बाइबल सेज एंड द वर्ल्ड पासेस अवे एंड द लास्ट इज देयर ऑफ बट ई दैट ड्रोएथ द विल ऑफ गॉड अबाइडेथ फॉरएवर everything else will all pass away the earth will all pass away eh but he that doeth doeth the will of god he will have eternal life his destiny is guaranteed so doing the will of god determines your eternal destiny i choose to do the will of god because i want to go where jesus is choice power of choice how many want to go where jesus went one thing you must do the will of god on earth it will determine your destiny are we together because it is not saying lord is not jumping like the masai no it is the doing of the will of god say amen, amen. number 2 doing the will of god forms a basis of our relationship with the god there's no other way to relate with god you just relate with god because you are doing his will yeah. we can't relate otherwise mark chapter 3 verse 35 mark This was Jesus himself. For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. Do you want to be the brother of Jesus? Do you want to be a relative of Jesus? What should you do? If that does the will of my father, the same is my brother the same is my sister the same is my mother he that does the will of god is the one whom jesus recognizes as his relative you become a son of god by doing the will of god and so if we have to relate with god and relate with jesus then is one thing must be done in our life choose to do the will of god are we together church choose to do the will of very simple it's a question of choice now let us not get to self deception how do people deceive themselves they are not they are not doing the will of god and they 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 behave as if they are you know that is we call it self deception sindio wajo waise kujitanganya na waise tanganya jetani na waise tanganya nani mu kile kizuri ni kufanya mapenzi ya nani Eh. Now you un, unajua kama ufanye mapenzi ya Mungu unajua uvichiki na uwezi kujivicha even your conscience will tell you. The Bible says if your heart condemns you how much does God do the same? The question is are you doing the will of God? Can Jesus give a testimony? I'm talking of the practical part of it. I'm not talking of theory. Oh, sisi ni wa mbinguni. Sisi tutaenda. Utaenda eh. Lakini una tikiti? Sindada amesema ni na tikiti. <laughs> Wengine hawana tikiti hata wajafika mahali na katwa na sasa wanasema ndio naenda. Kwa nani mbinguni na nani? Njia ya mbinguni ni ni Yesu tu. Hakuna nyingine, si ndio? There is no name under heaven given through which men should be saved. Only the name of Jesus. Not even a pope. Can I tell you the truth? I have no problem with the Catholics. If pope doesn't get saved, he will go to hell. See you? Even the president of America, he did. If he doesn't get saved, he will go to where? To hell. No other name given under heaven through which men should be saved. 
apart from the name of Jesus. Now, if you don't have Jesus, you don't have the way, you don't have the truth, and even you don't have life. These are some basic truths you must know. Make up the right choice in life. Have we together a church? I was under conviction for three days. Man of the Bible came. I mean, I had done a lot of reading of the scriptures. Silikuwa mtu andini. Nikuwa mwalimu wa Sunday. Nikuwa mwenye thambi kabisa. Nilikuwa kila Christmas na pata sawadi. Sani na vikombe na. Mana wanaona mwalimu mzuri. Na usiku huyu naenda ntanzi ya usiku. Tisiku. Naenda ntanzi. Huko kwetu. Kamandi kukali. Ambayo tunajivisha chaps chief. That's what we used to do. He, he, he knows. So we used. Like on Sunday, Biblia Kuba na kanisani tu. Munaimba muki muki na ni kama ni muti una pigwa ni upepo. Sitwila tu na vanyanga na tu na oneka na watakatifu. Na tu kwa pale tu na angalia na tu una angalia wadada. Eh? Umela ni wanalana. Kama ni wasichano sitafute kanisani. Eri uko inje. We ni pofu kuliko shetani mwenyewe. Na sindi olikuwa. Lakini saa hii buwana natuamurisha. Time of ignorance God wicked. But now he commands everybody to repent. No middle ground. Na when I decided to leave the devil he knows I did it. Kapisa. It's almost 40 years ago. And I said to hell with the devil. And I told all my, my girlfriend, I'm born again. You should also be born again like me. My young, my friends who were friends, ni kawambia ni meokoka. Moja ni limufungia kwa nyumba, ni kawambia leo taokoka. Ni kawambia leo taokoka. Mano endi ulikuwa mbaya sana. Nika mubiria akakosa kusikia nikaanza kuongea na lugha akazikiza lugha elewi akashanga akafungua mlango akakimbia <laughs> Tangu siku hiyo tulikuwa tukikutana na jificha Wapenda kuokoka ni kuama ambia jirani ama mchana Mimi najanga uokovu mwingine aueleweki Watu hata location nzima wanajua huyu ameokoka maana wokovu ni kama time wekwa juu ya mlima hii yeah. wokovu ya kuja kutafuta hiyo ni ya upus hiyo ni ndini uliko unaokoka the whole location knows you're saved are we together deciding to do the will of na we were ready to die for it. Sini wa mbile wimbo tulikuwa tunaimba kwa machos. I have desire to follow. So nine to go with me still there I follow. The world behind me, the cross. Ahead of me. Are we together church? Does God change? Does the quality of Christianity change? Who changes us? We are lowering the Christ, the standard of Christianity. Kwa hiyo hata tuweke injili chini tuweke maji tupate watu those are not candidates of heaven hawa ni wako unajitafutia wakupatie zandaka we don't preach for hovering we don't preach for tithe we have a higher call than money ngo naambia wazee nikija hapa kuku ana pesa i paid my house for almost 2 years by self not the church ndio ulize mse why? Because it is a call. I desire to live Satan. I desire to, to serve God with all my heart. Hii mambo ya katikati shindwe. Mambia jirani ka hii katikati shindwe. Hii mambo ya katikati shindwe. Tingiza mtu mambia ya wacha mambo ya katikati. Uziwe watermelon. <laughs> Kama ni yesu awe ni nani? Mchana. Doing the will of God should be on the board. I mean, no over. Noise. Say my amen. Now, one year is why anywhere. Mimi na ungea kile na mini anywhere. Ata maali nilifanya kazi. 
waliniita mbishop waliniita majina yote pasta maana walijua na msimamo wangu ulijulikana si kuokoka ile ni kama metapopus inaitwaje metapopus hmm? unabadilika unatoka eh hii unaenda ingine i was born into the kingdom amen that's why my mind saying brethren doing the will of god makes you a candidate for it eternity there should be no middle ground ni yesu ama ni jeta satan now the bible is very clear jesus preached this kind of a gospel in matthew 6:24 the bible says you cannot serve two don't try it won't work you cannot serve how many you must divorce one and remain with one you either get jesus or if is the devil then he eh kwenda vanillas useme vile tulivyo ukunyo lale kwa mtaru ndio tujue vile tutakuombea vizuri maana ukikaa hapa na huna mzimama tu utajua utafikiri wewe umeogoka kumbi wewe ni umbwa nini wajua umbwa mwito <laughs> umbwa ni umbwa eh lakini ina ngozi ya kondoo na nyingine ni umbwa sema amen that's what i'm saying doing the will of god makes you a relative of jesus that's why you can say you are my brother you are my mother you are my friend because you have chosen to do the will of god even when alone are we are we together church yes. joseph who was he with katika nyumba ya potifa eh alikuwa na pasta alikuwa na captain alikuwa na department head na aliambia mama namna gani alipojaribu kumshika kwa nguvu eh alimwambiaje na kwani Yosef ameenda wapi? Eh, tunataka kuona Yosef. Aliambia mama hii ufumbavu siwezi fanya. Hata kama tukawili kwa nyumba, ava haya kwa other ni this nonsense. Anachanga watu wengine wanashindwa tu ni mwili, mwili peke yake tu na kushinda na kuwa shetani mwenyewe, mwili. Sutishe mwili, sio? Vijana mutishe nini? Mwili. inawezekana sio wengine mwanaangalia mwana kama mnijui nasema mutiishe mwili hatutaki kusikia mtoto msichana amepewa mipa mipa imetoka wapi imetoka wapi mtu amekoka kweli ana anaingia kwa hiyo mambo eh ama niwachi hapo siwachi mpaka muniambie sasa mipa inatoka wapi kanisa kero na una mume unajaolewa Simeri aliuliza malaika wewe malaika hata kama umetoka mbingu ya tatu nieleze vizuri nieleze vizuri hii hi, lazima tuelewane itakuwaaje na mimi sijui mume na zina mpango wa kufanya sherati Mary she had to ex- get an explanation from the angel yes akaambua ma- ni kweli naelewa wewe wewe umejihifadhi lakini si hii si si ya si, 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 mtu nguvu za aliye juu sakuja are we together designed to do the will of designed to do the will of in his season and out of season even in finances niliona watu wa covid wakati wa lockdown utoi sandaka utoe fungu la 10 are you doing the will of god do you do it because pastor is there eh? do you need the pastor to tell you to pay your tithe even in lockdown tafuta mali kanisa iko Peleka, because you are born again and doing the will of God does in no lockdown. Amen. Don't use lockdown as excuse of not doing the will of God. No. Now that is the kind of maturity we must move into. Joseph, ako taka pasta. Inio. Na zilienda gerezani, maana alikataa sido chendo akomesha kana beniko atuambiwe pastor wao waliambua wainame kuinama tu kuinama tu wainamie sana walinama 
Yeah? Doing the will of? Wakasema, we can't do that is not what we are commanded to do. Now they said no. Now they were threatened with the fire hmm? which was on it at 70 times. But they said at I were 14 times. We cannot compromise. Akaambia mungu wetu anaweza kutuokoa kutoka kwa kone bukadineza. Lakini ata kama ata tuokoa heri tukufe. Kuna mambo heri ukufe. Kweli si wewe wa kwanza Peter walikufa. Out of the disciples of Jesus I think only one lived to die of age. And that was the, the, the John the Revelator. Wale wengine waliuawa kwa sababu ya kuzimama na mapenzi ya Mungu. Si ndio? Understand Matthew was killed too on his knees in India. Others Peter I understand. You know church history says he was crucified upside down like he said don't crucify me like Jesus do the opposite. Why? Fighting for the will of God. Paul in one of the, 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 the scriptures he said a few fought against a sin to the shedding of blood. How many have read that scripture? Are we together church? We must say no to the will of the devil. We must say no to the will of people. We must say no to anything which is not godly. We must say no. How many are ready to say I will say no to anything which doesn't please God? It doesn't matter the consequences. That's why the church we must take a very firm stand. If anybody tells you to do something contrary to God, you will say no. It doesn't matter who he is. Why? God is supreme. See You know they did one thing in my place of work. I can it to me upon Bile Kuba gift. I cannot give poison to you. I'm sending it back to the sender. Are you what kind of a person I am with a testimony? Nili Rudisha. Mali Metoka. I cannot receive it, neither give it. It is against the will of God. You see, to Kizimama vizuri utaukua Kenya hii na corruption. Kama we ni askari, useme, hongo, hakuna. Sindio? Hongo, hakuna. Kama we we ni OCS, useme, hongo, hakuna. On my eyes. Whether it is an order from up or from down, you must say no to anything which is not the will of God. How many know this is the way it should be? Why do we have corruption? People are compromising the will of God. Semala! Liwe liwalo, siyo! Si Yesu ni mukuba. Now you cannot see God when you have not come to the very end of everything. When did they disagree that we are thrown to the fiery furnace? Did the fire burn them? God will never let you go. When you stand for him, he will stand for you. The king meant, I mean the king changed his words. At the end of the day, he said, You servants of the Mosai God. Aki watu pali waita vinyangarika, sasa na waita watu mishwa mungu alie hai, mukuje. Na wali potoka, haka sema, yule atafanya, ataungia neno kinyume ya hawa. Huyu mtu atakatakatwa. Na hata familia yake. Wale vijana, kwa nini walizimamia mapenzi ya nani? Ya mungu. Kuwe kuzuri, kuwe kubaya. Mapenzi ya mungu ni faino na ni must. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. How many are saying utaka ngumu? Utaka ngangari? How to ruse mchezo kwa mapenzi ya bana? Last month we leave. Sinti o yon diyo katiba yetu. Katiba yetu ni hii. Ni wambi this is our constitute. We must defend it. The apostles did. They never compromised. It doesn't matter who he was. They didn't care about authorities. When you go against the will of God, you are off-sight. Hata kama wewe ni nani? Na mungu ndiyo final authority. Sio? Kuna mwingine kweli? 
ni, ni nani ali, aliwawa ni malaika na akakuliwa ni nini si ni Herod Herod alisema ah nimejenga nimejenga hata malaika kutoka mbinguni pa alafu mwili wako akakuliwa ni what do you call the worms God was proving a point he is the one who is supreme how many know God is supreme That's so we as his representatives we must stand by the will of God in his reason and out of season. Amen. Kama wewe msichana simama na mapenzi ya Mungu liwe liwalo. No compromise. Sindio? No compromise. That is what is called to be born again to be saved, to become a light and to become a soul. Say my amen. So let me finish up because my time is up. So number one, doing the will of First letter of John chapter 5. First chapter 5, um, chapter 5 verse 14. This is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything say anything according to his will he heareth and if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petition that we desire of him ask anything in according to his will anything within his will god says he will hear us when you begin to operate in the will of god god hears us he hears you your relationship with him becomes close now those who have been pursuing the will of god they speak and the god hears then decree and the things happen Because they are doing the will of God. He empowers such they become an authority even on the earth. Now that's why people are doing pursuing the will of God like Elijah. They could close the heavens and say no rain for three and a half years. When we begin to do the will of God, God hears us. He empowers us. We become an authority. God stands on our side. On our side. Now that's why they the apostles were very strong they fought for the will of god they suffered for the will of god and the god of the bible proved himself strong on their behalf when you are defend of god's will it becomes you are defense how many want to be on the lord's side you want to be on the lord's side do you know you do it when you become a defender of God's will. Sio ndio? Unasimama na mapenzi ya Bwana, utamwambia simamsi si jua anayetasimama. Ukweli. Sio ndio? Utaomba na mambo yatatendeka. Kwa nini? Wewe na Mungu ni kitu kimoja. Maana unafanya mapenzi yake. Unafanya yale anampendeza. First letter three, first twenty two, the purpose and this is our confidence. Whatever we ask of him, we receive because we do those things that are pleasing in his eyes. We are pursuing the will of God. God of the Bible stands for us. Now you become yourself an authority. You become an authority. That's why the early church was a no nonsense church. Why? They live for the will of God they spoke even before kings Sindio look at the way they fought for the will of God you know the first miracle when they were put in prison nani alivungua ngereza nani alivungua ngereza mara ya kwanza wale waofungwa nani alivungua kwani msomi maandiko malaika si malaika ndio walivungua wakavungua na kuambia Peter tokeni ya mbili hii injili pale hii 
Yes, I think it's Acts chapter 4. Malaika wangapo anataka kuona malaika kwenye huduma malaika kwenye biashara anza kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu biashara yako haitaguzwa ukweli mbingu itakutetea ukitetea mapenzi ya mbingu mbingu nao jeshi lake litakutetea tunaambua bishop leo tupatie ushuhuda wezi walienda kuimba kuiba walienda na kitu Siwana wakavuja na wakaweka kwa meza kile kilitendeka wakawacha pesa zote. Vijana wakaenda wachome kanisa wakaenda wakakuta moto moto mkubwa. Wakasema tayari imechomwa. Kumbe hakuna kitu. Ukisimama na mapenzi ya Bwana, pingu yote nasimama na wewe. Ambia jirani wapendwa, tufanye mapenzi ya Bwana. Sell yourself fully to the will of God. May we be so to do the will of God. We will see the power of God in our lives. He will come through for us. Are we together? You must fully give yourself to God. Mungu apendi nuzunuzu. Nuzunuzu ni bure kabisa. Hiyo ni roho ya kindini. God will never bless anything with hard-heartedness. He needs you to be fully committed. The Bible says, whatever you put your hand to do, do it with all, with all, your all, all of it. And that's when I want to say, when you're a king, you're a king, you're a king. You know what the Bible says? He that does the work of God, call a king, Allah is a king. If you're a king, you're a king, but Allah is a king, and you're a king, and you're a king, and you're a king. Asikuchi kwa mtu anafanya kazi ya Mungu na ulokevu. Tuache kufanya kazi ya Mungu na ulokevu. Tuamue kabisa. Si ndio? Tuamue kabisa. Eli utaapika ukifanyia Mungu kazi. Mimi nilivuta kazi na machozi. Sikuwa naenda ninjua nitaenda wapi. Lakini mwito kashinda kazi. Eh. Nikasema liwe liwalo. I better serve in the will of God. Tani being here again is the will of God. Now when I stepped out. Si alala nja. Wale vikiti hizo zimesha watoto walizoma wote. Wote. Wakabana ya Mungu ni mwaminifu, Mungu si muongo. Lakini lazima wewe ujitoe kwa mapenzi yake. Ambia awachana na imanuzu manuzu. Hii kufanyia Mungu kazi na uchanja. Hii uchanja ni mpaya haitakuokoa na haitakusaidia. You will always become a loser. The verse the Bible says, he that loses his life for the gospel, he will gain it. But he that spares his life, he will also lose it. You better lose your life for Jesus, you will gain it. Amen. Sell yourself to do the will of God. Sio? Eh? Mke wangu alikuwa anambo taolewa ni nani? Wewe unahubiri njiri kila mahali. Sasa hakuna kijana atakayekuja karibia. Na si ameolewa kwanza na mhubi. Wangu wangapi wanajua Mungu ana njia zake? Na wewe unataka kujipendekeza kwa watu. Watu watakupatia nini? Si watu ni watu tu. Hivi karibu utaanza kukusema. Eli uingie kwa Mungu kabisa. Mungu yeye si dhalimu. Mungu si muongo na analipa mia kwa mia. Amen. Tumikia Yesu. Tumikia Yesu. Tumikia mapenzi yake. Una mwito hapana kalia kiti. Tunajida wa imbaji. So of you I was telling. Nikuwa naambia kiongozo wa usasa what are we doing next. Nikaongea na hiri. Nikaombia enda ongea na wamama. Wale walikuwa wanaimba. Wambia warudi. Na hapa kuna wa imbaji. Mwona keti mukikalia kitu gani? Na kuna navazi ya kutumika. We have shot at your vashas. Now you are warming your bench to. Na ni nafasi. Are you doing the will of God by sitting there idol? Ulisa jari kukalia kitu. Tuna kukande eh. Hiyo ndiyo kazi uliitiwa. Eh. Wakabu, I oh, know there is much more than just sitting on a seat. Are you sure you are doing the will of God by sitting on a seat every Sunday and yet there is shortage of money power in the church? Is that the best you can do? Roya gindini lazima itutoke. 
wokovu ukiokoka unaanza kazi we are saved to serve we are not saved to sit kuokoka kuketi hiyo ni roho ya kintini Yesu akasema mavuno ni mengi lakini watenda kazi ni saa hii population hatuwezi kusema ni wachache kile kiko wanakataa kazi Are we together church? Na kwa hivyo I'm challenging you. Anza kufanya mapenzi ya Bwana. Amen. Na kufanya mapenzi ya Bwana ni kutii Bwana kila anasema. Si ndio? Wakati wengine wanaenda morning glory na unalala. Unafanya mapenzi ya Bwana? Eh? Mapenzi ya Bwana yanaingia katika ma- the way you use your time. Will not determine whether you are doing the will of God or you are selfish with your time. Si ndio? Some of you you don't come meet your services. Now you are just at home. Is that the will of God for you to sit at home? Simoni angalie. Bible study inaendelea na wewe unaangalia unaangalia TV. Is that the will of God for you? Simoni anguseme. Is that the will of God? Eh? Sarere tunatoka nje kufikia watu kwa ajili ya injili. Na wewe unakaa nyumbani sasa hiyo ndio unaosha mkuu. Kabisa na unapiga zingine fat pass. Na sasa hiyo ndio wengine wanafanya nini? Is that the will of God? God must set us free from doing our own will. One of the signs of end time is the Bible says in that they will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Lovers of money. See prophetically that's what Timothy said in the last days lovers of themselves lovers of pleasure they don't want anything that inconveniences them they want to do everything as it is convenient let me tell you god will really convince you he will make you wake up early when it is cold so that he can be able to use you tell your neighbor don't miss morning glory it is the power of god amen Don't miss fellowships. The Bible says the valley church daily. How many times? Daily in the temple and in the house to house. They never ceased. Daily. May we begin to do the will of God by being daily in the church. Morning glory, lunch hour. Doing the will of God. That you become a candidate for God's blessing. Na kuna vitu wataombea sitakutafuta. Are we together church? Na so we must seek to do the will of God. Sikuizi kuna many wills. Will of your employer, will of your husband, will of your uncle, will of the government of Kenya. But let me tell you we rather seek to do the will of God because the will of God will give you a place in your eternity choice is yours god will not force you remain as anti worshiper tu unatokea kama submarine jumapili na siku hiyo zingine uko kwa hiyo kioski ni hiyo kioski hata haitosheleshi eri ungewacha kioski ubuje kwa jula naweza kukutosheleshi si ndio that's wisdom peter leona samaki azikuji akamba yesu hii hiyo kitu yote si alimpatia ambaye achukua Yesu upiri nayo haikunisaidia usiku yote chukua Yesu akachukua kaubiri nayo akamrudishia akamwambia chukua haya lodge to the deep na baada ya Yesu kutumia zili toa samaki mpaka ikaanza kumjanganya do you want God to bless you surrender give him everything how many know we can't save ourselves how many know your business is not your your source The sooner you know this the better. And the Bible will is Matthew 6:33. Seek ye first, say first. Not second. First. The kingdom of and is righteousness and all these other things. That is the formula for prosperity. 
the formula for success in life as a believer. If you do other things, they are not the will of God, and they will lead you to self-destruction. They won't help you. How many know God's word is final? Seek it first. And from today, make up your mind. Say, I will pursue the will of God. In his season, and out of season. Let's stand on our feet. Tell the Lord to help you to be to do the will of God. We must say no to self-will. We must say no to the will of the devil. We must say no to the will of men and the women. And we must choose to do the will of God. Lift up your hands. It's a sign of surrender to God. Give yourself holy. Today, it can be a turning point of your life. It can be a turning point of all that belongs to you. It is time to completely surrender to God. Lift up your hands and begin to speak to him. Tell him, Lord, I desire from today, I desire to do your will. Help me, help me, help me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to do thy will in his season and out of season. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, ambia wana kusaidie, akusaidie, usifanya mapenzi ya watu, usifanya mapenzi, mapenzi ya, ya, ya yako, ni lasima, afanyae mapenzi ya bwana, diataitimu, kubarikiwa ni bwana, mwambie bwana na amua kutoka leo, sitafanya mapenzi yangu mwenyewe, yesu alisema nimetoka mbinguni, na kuzudi moja, kufanya mapenzi, ya alie nituma, kufanya mapenzi ya baba, may that be your choice today, to do the will of God. May you do the will of God. May the will of God be paramount. May the will of God be paramount. Even in our lives, we rebuke the spirit of religion. We bind every double dealings. We bind every backsliding. We bind every lukewarmness. We bind every prayerlessness. Puke you and command you to die. Holy Ghost, take over. Give us to be fully persuaded and decided to pursue you O oh God in Jesus his name in Jesus 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 name mwambie bwana kusaidie mwambie bwana kusaidie akuokoe na mapenzi ya watu akuokoe na mapenzi hata yako wewe mwenyewe inua mikono kila mtu Una nafasi ya kuamua. Fanya uamuzi wa buzara. Ujui ni kwa nini Bwana ametunenea. Yesu juu karibu kuja. Ni lazima wapendwa tuwe wenye hekima. Tuwe wenye hekima. Kuwa mwenye hekima kulikuwa wanawali kumi lakini watano walikuwa wafumbavu. Usiwe baadhi ya wanawali ambao ni wafumbavu awaelewi nyakati awaelewi nafasi kataa kuwa baadhi ya watano wasielewa waliejaa ujinga badala kufanya kile kinachojika wakakaa bila mafuta na bwana luzi alipofika wakafungiwa nje na kataa kufungiwa nje nitafanya mapenzi ya bwana usiku na mchana anza ongea 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 mwambie bwana nisaidie hii ni wakati wa kufanya uamuzi wa busara katika jina la Yesu kataa maisha ya mzunguko maisha ya mzunguko amwa kabisa kuingia kwa Yesu kikamilivu kumwambia bwana nitafanya yaliye mapenzi yako usiku na mchana sitashanganyikiwa oh bwana eopazoga give us to do your will even in season and out of season and we live to give you the glory we will live to give you the honor. We will live to give you the worship. We will live to give you the adoration. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your name, O God. Li kazara budhuri libi. Kikili bala bala ba. Li azantara. Kikili bili 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 Li mazanti libu. Katili bala 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 bu. Li kizikiti. Yifungue kwa mungu. Jifungue kwa mapenzi ya Bwana. Mwambie Roho Mtakatifu nielekeze. 
kwenye mapenzi ya baba usiku na mchana nakataa kufanya kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu Bwana ni asante tukuzo milele oh we thank you lord thank you jesus son of god as we stand before the lord it's a time to make up our minds you are here and you are telling me pastor after this preaching i want to make a resolution i'm realizing i'm not doing as it should be the will of god and i want to make up my mind from today to do the will of god uncompromisingly if that's your prayer just lift up your hand wherever you are you are saying i want to do better than i've been doing this message challenges me but from today i want to change lift up your hand both hands to god you are saying i want to give mercy of holy to do the will of god lift those hands up wherever you are you say i want to give myself to the will of god eh nimekuwa nikiwa nafanya tu katika kujishikilia jichofi ndani kabisa kwa mapenzi ya bwana jichofi kabisa kikamilivu ukikaa ukingoni hakuna muujiza ukingoni pita aliambiwa launch deep you must launch deep in commitment launch deep in service to god hapo ndio utapata matokeo lakini ya kukaa ukingoni hiyo hiyo ni hiyo haina haina faida jichofi ndani jiwachilie Unasema kutoka leo bwana anafanya uamuzi wa kuingia ndani kwenye mapenzi ya bwana. Inua mkono juu. Mkono juu. Najua ni wengi hata si wanaona because I know you. As your pastor I can explain you. Most of you you are not committed. You need to give yourself fully to Jesus. Yesu anakuja hivi karibuni. Na iwezekani ukakuwa ukafaulu ukiendelea hivyo. Lazima tuji tuingie kabisa katika jina la lift up those hands i want to pray with you pray out loudly say lord jesus today i make up my mind to completely commit myself to do your will in season and out of season everywhere everywhere i will do your will no matter the cost only those Give me the boldness. Give me the courage to do your will all the time. Lead me on a daily basis in the will of God. In how I manage my time or how I use my finances. May the will of God be the center of every decision pertaining my life. Pertaining my business, pertaining my calling, may the will of God be paramount. Thank you for hearing me and giving me the, the boldness and the strength to do Your will. In Jesus' name, I pray, and I receive, receive the boldness, receive the strength. May the Lord help you to do His will. In the name of Jesus from today make up your mind can i say this brethren tuko nyakati za mwisho don't wait for another you may not get another message why jesus is coming anytime now whatever he says do it with his feet why tomorrow may be too late amen you are here let every high be close You are here and you are not born again. You know you are not born again and you know it. You can't lie to yourself. You can't lie to the devil. You can't lie to God. He knows you. Ukamba Yesu maisha yako. Jina lako alijandikwa kwenye kitabu ya uzima. Yesu akija za haiwezi kwenda naye uko hapa. Na unasema pastor omba na mimi nataka kupokea Yesu. Inua mkono wako juu madu ulipo. Inua mkono. Unajua hakika hujaokoka. Hujaomba Yesu maisha yako. Kabisa unajua usigumishe moyo Mungu alisema tizama na zimama mlangoni na pisha kwenye moyo wako Ukinizikia nifungulie Inua mkono mfungulie Yesu akusamee dhambi na kuokoe Kama unajua kia kiko hujaokoka inua mkono nitaomba na wewe mahali ulipo katika jina la Yesu
katika jina la Yesu you are listening to us online and you know for sure you are not born again the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God through Jesus is eternal life you can receive your salvation today i want you to pray with me loudly say lord jesus i repent of all my sins i ask of you to forgive me and cleanse me from today i have decided to follow you give me the strength to overcome every temptation and then give me the strength to live a holy life thank you for saving my life and making me yours in jesus name i pray amen if you pray that prayer god has saved you you are seen have been forgiven join our church where you can be spiritual in our church and you will grow to serve him may the lord bless you let's give the lord a thunderous praise and let's appreciate jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Zema, mapenzi ya Bwana itakuwa kama chakula. Walimletea Yesu chakula katika Yohana 4 I think that one akasema ni na chakula chakula. Na chakula yangu ni kufanya mapenzi aliyenituma na nikamili na kula. Alikuwa anaongoja yule mwanamke msamaria alikuwa ameokoka may the will of god be like food may you desire to do it filo natamani kula chakula mapenzi ya bwana iwe ni kama chakula kutoka leo amen kama ni zaa la kuja kanisa na mapenzi ya bwana ndio hiyo basi kuja kanisa tuko pamoja wapendwa nasikia muzukumo katika roho maana kuna watu wanataka kusaidika wengine tuli tulifanywa lockdown baka they are still locked down they have never come to church hiyo roho ya locking down brethren when it, we have been unlocked we rebuke it na ukikuta ndugu akuje kanisa mwambie ndugu tuli tuli tulifunguliwa we are not si tulifunguliwa sasa kuja kanisa wengine waja kuja tuwasaidie hiyo ni roho ya mpinga kristo Ma, malengo yake ni kufungia watu nje na nakataa kufungiwa nje kuja kanisa na iwe kila siku wapendwa sikia nasikia kubidi tena najaribiwa padilika tukuone kesho kwa maombi za kumi na moja wewe ambia jirani uzikose maana mapenzi ya bwana ni kufanya mapenzi ya bwana katika kuhudhuria mikutano mapenzi ya bwana iko ndani Wewe sio mama ombi tumeomba hapa alafu wewe unakuja tena Jumapili. Utakuwa wewe ni mwasi. Si tumeomba maombi ya kutubu. Toba is not complete until you turn and do what we are not doing before. So you must tell your neighbor change. Begin to go to morning glory. Come for lunch our meeting. That is the will of God. If we are you the come to you the meetings. That's where the will of God is. Aiko kataka wewe kukaa kwa nyumba? Let's pursue the will of God. If you agree with me, give the Lord another clap and I shout. We must do the will of God. Amen. Let's take our seats. I want us to give you an opportunity to do the will of God in giving. The will of God in Yes, when you give give according to the will of God. Don't give according to your will. If it is tithe it is tithe and the tithe belongs to God you should not even budget it if it's offering give something that costs you we are not doing it as a religious exercise we are doing it out of love for God God loved the world so much that he gave his only son now when you give your only son is that not sacrifice you're giving and atoa mwana wa pekee sio na so we must follow the suit give sacrificially give faithfully let's pursue the will of god even in giving even in giving whatever you give make sure it is according to the will of god don't fulfill a program 
Useme mapenzi ya bwana yananiongoza hivi. Na roho unena kama si mapenzi ya bwana kwambia hii haifai. Badilisha. Na so we must give according to the will of God. Amen. So if you are ready with your ties, just stand up on your feet and bring it up here. Want to pray with you? We normally pray, pray with the tithers. Just take up that courage and come. Bring it. If you get your profits weekly, you can do tithing weekly. Just stand up on your feet. You don't have to wait everybody. Be the first one. There's attendance of waiting until somebody stands, then you come. No. Be the very first one. Amen. Prepare also your offering. Take it out. Open up your, um, your treasure and give to the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew 6.21 where your treasure is, that is where your heart is. If your treasure is in the church, we will also see it practically. If you are coming, can you come? You are ready to give your tithe. Just come, come, come. Come, come. Please. Do it by faith. Believe God for a financial turnaround. It's not in vain. God is not a data. He rewards. He rewards. The Bible says, Give and shall be given back to you. Multiplied, shaken together, and even overflowed. Okay, I believe. Oh, I've come. Lift it up. Lift your tie up. Believe God. Believe God. To financially bless you. Lift up your hovering. Show it to the Lord. Father, we thank you as we give unto you faithfully. Pray that you bless us. Rebuke the devourer of every tither. And the prosper every work of their hands. Let them not lack. May the grace of God have bound towards them that they will have all sufficiency and abundance of every good work. We thank you for every offering we are giving. May it come back to us, multiply, shake it together, and even more glory. We thank you and bless you, Jesus. Name. Even God bless you as you give. You can stand up and bring it. Bring your offering. Bring. Come and drop it here. Those watching us online, our pay bill is on the screen. And even our MPESA number, you can give through the pay bill, MPESA number, and we will be blessed together. So do what the Holy Spirit prompts you to do. And then the Lord will mightily bless you. Amen. Thank you.